Is Hitchcock doing okay? I think so. Wait, he's bringing his hand to his face. Don't pick your teeth. Don't pick your nose. Oh, dear. He's gonna lick something off his fingers. Oh, no, he's broken his chin. As if in thought. Not as if. He is in thought. Oh, they're looking at us. Act natural. Spreadsheet, spreadsheet. Crime, crime. Precinct, precinct. <laughs> Sergeant, you were in the 1-8 with me. Though you were significantly... Fatter, sir. They called me Terry Titties. Because I had large... Uh... Titties, yes, I remember. Still waiting, Sergeant. It's just the target looks exactly like a friend of mine. It's just freaking me out. You have a friend who's just a silhouette. Yes. Sir, my life stinks. Sharon's on bed rest. My favorite mango yogurt got discontinued. And my kids think their preschool teacher's a stupid face. Everyone I work with is a stupid face. Especially Bryce. Sir. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Sir. Hmm? Can I be honest? Precinct's not the same without you. The vulture's the worst. My mango yogurt. Yes, you already mentioned the yogurt. Because it's important! When I saw you in the office this morning, I wanted to give you the biggest hug. But the vulture told you not to. And you had to listen. He's your captain now, Terry. I hate going to work and you're not there. Everything is garbage. <laughs> Everything is garbage. I should put that in my message of hope. That's a really good idea. Mosey forward, name and lights, butt pop, comb your hair. Now typing motion, pull it back, jump forward, pelvic pump. You got it! Now all we need to do is run it all together and do it at full speed. I must say, Jeffords, this dancing is quite distracting. I've completely forgotten that we're trapped here in this death box, inspected by Bozo Beverly between clown shows. You know what, sir? I don't think you are thrusting your butt enough before the name and lights. Yes, yes. I felt that. God, I love that note. Whew. Back to the top. I'll count us in. Five, six, seven, eight. I don't always understand Peralta's texts. He says they're still waiting on the lab and it's all's good. All's with a Z. Then a box with a question mark inside. Another box with a question mark. 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 And yet another box with a question mark. Then a box with a question mark. What does that mean? It means you don't have emojis on your phone. GP40 diesel locomotive with sprung drive wheels, rule 17 lighting, and full underbody detailing. You're going to be the bell of the ball. Terry is your god. Oh, hail Lord Terry, giver of life. Oh, hail Lord Terry. <laughs> Check out Jefford's Junction. It's got an ice cream shop, a 50s diner, and a Mexican restaurant with a sombrero on it. What happens to the sombrero when it rains? I see no drains. Does it just fill up with water until the building collapses, killing everyone inside? Fun fact, it never rains at Jefford's Junction. So you achieve this level of lushness through irrigation alone? I don't know. I'm just trying to build a fun world. That's what model trains are all about. Imagination. No, they're about accuracy. People want to see the world around them exactly as it is, but smaller. Okay, well, we can have part of the model be very accurate, and part of it will be creative. I'm okay with that. Yes, yes, as am I. Uh, would you fetch me the eight millimeter level from my office? Oh, sure. Oops. Sarge, Captain, no, oh, you guys brought Hitchcock. Uh, no, we just bumped into him in the lobby. We don't know why he's here. Jenny, baby, I love what prison's doing to your figure. Okay, so how's prison? Nobody likes cops in here, so I had to earn their respect by starting a bunch of riots that got thrown in solitary for a week. What's going on with your face? I hate seeing you like this, so I'm flexing my eyes real hard to keep from crying. It's okay, we can still have a normal conversation. Uh, so, how's the food? Pay no attention to him, Rosa. He's very emotional, Rosa. Why are you saying my first name? Well, Rosa, I read an article in the medical journal that said one destabilizing aspect of incarceration is the constant dehumanization, Rosa. You need to be reminded that you're more than just a number, Rosa. You are Rosa. Rosa? Yep, that fixes prison. Is there anything we can do to help you? Anything you need done on the outside? No, I'm good. It's not a problem. Rosa. We're here for you. Rosa. Whatever you need. Rosa. 
Okay, I'll come up with a list. I was just checking to see if there's anything we can do to help. And I hate to say it, but I think there is. Oh, you think he's gonna get me drugs from evidence? Uh, no. Something way weirder is happening. Hit it, Jeffords. You got a second, Captain? I've got these overtime forms for you to see. Are you stifling a yawn? No, sir. Go home, Sergeant. I'm fine. I filled this out. I just need you to. Permission to yawn, sir? Go home. You don't stand a chance. I'm going to turn Jeffords Junction into the funnest town in America. That's right. I said funnest. Stop dancing. Stop dancing. This is a direct order. Stop dancing. Captain, Diaz sent us the list of favors she needs us to do for her. She didn't hold back. First, she wants us to move all her furniture into storage. Okay. Then file her taxes for her. Really? And then she wants us to type up and email these letters to Pimento in Argentina. Are they sexual in nature? Crazy sexual. But we can't say no. She's behind bars, and we made a promise. Right. You're right. Oh, also, she's worried about her motorcycle sitting idle, so she wants us to take it out once a day. Here. I think you should do this. You're more the biker type. I've seen you use a toothpick in public. Motorcycles are death machines. I have three kids. I'm not risking it. Are you saying my life matters less because I don't conform to society's heteronormative, child-centric ideals? Are you really playing the gay card right now? Yeah, Queen. I'm so glad you're helping me. Maybe I won't blow it after all. Oh, you'll do plenty of blowing of that flute. Now let's go. A five, six, seven, eight. Stop. The nod meant start now, not start one second later. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Stop. Are you playing the muffin man or the garbage man? Huh? Do you know the garbage man? Because I do, because I'm looking right at him. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Again. Why'd you stop playing, Garbage Man? I need some water. What you need to do is keep practicing, Garbage Man. I don't have any more saliva. And I don't have any more time for your excuses, Garbage Man. Now play again. Five, six. I don't want your help anymore. I'm not a Garbage Man. I'm a Muffin Man. Nope. The sound was more of a Ooh, how goes the crinkle hunt? I say you're not just wasting time. You're also wasting tin. It was only one piece. Okay, it was a ton of tin. I'm pretty sure it's a guy eating a sandwich. I'll prove it to you. I'm not buying you any more sandwiches, Scully. I'm doing this for us. Guys, we can't fight. That's what the horn dog wants. We're getting close. We just need to keep testing more things. Oh, that's a good idea. Have you tried a piece of paper? Is that your crinkle? Ooh, maybe, oh, maybe it's his bags of coffee beans. All right, sir, I think you've made your point. My point? Oh, I'm just trying to have fun by wasting time. Oh, maybe it's this crinkly, crunkly yogurt. Terry heard a crinkle. Hold heard a crinkle, too. So suddenly it's not a waste of time? Not a waste of time if we win. What are you waiting for, Jeffords? Call the horn dog. <laughs>